No. Kia ora, everyone. Hey, this week's theme in church is prayer. And uh, I've been inspired by that theme to research a bit about the parish. And I discovered that the parish of St. Margaret's geographically is one of the largest in the Auckland Diocese. Along with that, I recalled an ancient tradition in the Anglican Church called beating the bounds. You may have heard it. It, de it developed in Norman Saxon times when parish priests would walk around the boundary lines of their parishes and they would pray for the protection uh, over the land and the people and they would pray for peace uh, on the land and on the people within the parish. They would take with them sticks to mark out and s hit where the boundary stones were and even on occasion in Norman Saxon times they took young boys with them in the church and they would smash their heads <laughs> on, this, on, this, on the boundary stones so the next generation would remember where these boundaries were. Well, I'm extending the invitation to any in the youth group to come and join me, but I, I won't bash your heads against stones, but maybe you could come and pray. So as I said, St. Margaret's is the largest, one of the largest geographic, geographically dioceses in the world. There's literally thousands and thousands of people living in our parish. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing it over two days because it's so big, and uh, this is day, day two. So Hillsborough Road, down Belfast, to Frederick, up Queenstown, to Mount Albert Road, uh, right into Buckley, right up to Selwyn Avenue, uh, right at St Andrews Road, uh, all the way down to Landscape, and then left at Parrell, up to Mount Albert Road, down to Dominion Road, turn left, Dominion Road, Dominion Road extension, up to Waikawai, Hillsborough, all the way back to church. It's taken a couple of days, but be encouraged that uh, I'll be praying away. In the old Norman Saxon days, they used Psalm 103 and 104 for prayer. I'll just read a couple of verses from it. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we are made. He remembers that we are dust. As far as the east is from the west, so will he remove our transgressions from us. So fantastic. See you later. I'm off to pray. God bless.